Tell me, Alfin, wherever did you learn how to wield a sword? I was wondering the same thing too, actually. I'm guessing you knew how to fight before you met the Crimson Crows, right? I used to be a soldier who served a Danon master. I never saw the guy's face, but I still fought for him because he was my employer. Looking back, it wasn't all that different from being a slave. A Danon master? That must have been before the Renans brought you to Lenigus 300 years ago. You must fight using real Danon techniques then. Really? We used to have our own sword arts? There's a lot of our own history we've lost since the Renans first invaded. It's not all magic and art. I'm sure it includes things like sword styles too. It's incredible and also a little surreal to see those arts still survive after all this time. Not only that, but I first learned these moves while serving one ruler, only to end up turning my sword on the ruling class altogether. Pretty ironic when you think about it. I apologize if I dredged up unfortunate memories for you. Nah, we're good. It's in the past now. All we ever did in those days was stir up trouble. You're using those skills for a good cause now. It's not all bad. I suppose this is what people mean when they say that every cloud has its silver lining. Exactly! He's using those sword skills to make the world better. Could be a lot worse. True enough. I will stop worrying about mentioning it then. Something feels odd here. Be on your guard. No wonder we couldn't manage to find them. They've been holed up here all this time, hiding. The remnants of Volron's forces. You think they were planning an ambush on Pelegian? Possibly. Then again, knowing how blind their devotion is, maybe they were just waiting. Waiting? For Volron, you mean? Even though we already defeated him? But... Yes, I suppose you're right. For these guys, that would just be a technicality. They act more like worshippers than subjects. They're probably still in denial that he was overthrown in the first place. Either that, or they were biding their time until the next crown contest. Either way, their allegiance is to their lord. Who they're convinced and expectant will return. So in the meantime, they wait patiently in preparation for the day that he finally does. That's way more than just loyalty. It's no less than total subjugation. scratches on my shield or my armor. You've noticed it, haven't you? Notice what? I'm referring to Xion. I never thought you of all people would come to me about her. Yes, well, what concerns me has more to do with what machinations may be currently unfolding in secret on Lenigus as we make our way along this tunnel. And you're saying it's related to Xion in some way? Perhaps. She believed there was a good possibility that the Renis Alma may free her from her thorns. One would think after losing the Renis Alma, she would be more dismayed, and yet she isn't. Why? There's also the matter of the power that she inherited from. You heard what she said. She didn't know about the Maiden's power. Mere ignorance does not preclude her deep connection to the events unfolding around us. You recall when her thorns went rampant in Castle Del Faris. 
I've never seen dark astral energy manifest in such a way. I thought you said all Renans had dark astral energy inside of them. Correct. However, what Xion exhibited was far beyond what any ordinary citizen could ever possibly possess. <laughs> Let me be clear. I do not intend to cast doubt on Xion, or her motives. Nevertheless, I cannot shake the feeling that there's more to all of this than what we currently know. Do you disagree? It could be worth something. It's obvious that people used to go through here in order to get to the other realms. You think Volron really did seal it off to keep it hidden then? Seems like it. Those soldiers we encountered might have known about it, chosen to hide out here. But with the entrance collapsed and exposed, they must have been forced to come out of hiding. and other signs people were living here. Even Zugul cages. Definitely looks like this is where the rem... Gotta break through! Hey, when did I get so far? Raging Cascade! Destruction! We are freaking invincible! How can any other one be our man job? What about me? The enemy reveals arts too. We'll soon see about that. I'll finish you here now. You're mine. Holy land. You're finished. One more time. The flame inside me. You're free. Do it. Here go. Neon astral energy. Full throttle. Not too shabby, if I do say so myself. Far more than the power I can conjure alone. That's for sure. <laughs> Was that a 
compliment? should come in handy. How much do they have to steal from us to be satisfied? What's that thing's purpose anyway? Some kind of siphon that sends the astral energy the Lord's harvested to Lenigus? Not as far as I'm aware. That said, it has become evident since the forming of the Renes Alma, as well as other recent events, that my insight may be... thin. I would, as I believe the saying goes, take what I say with a grain of salt. No, Halim. At the very least, I believe we can assume that whoever is pulling the strings behind the scenes has had this in the works for quite some time. Why is that? The people on Lenigus may have plenty of resources at their disposal, but not even they could prepare something like that in a mere month. Something of that magnitude takes considerable time, as well as a predetermined goal in mind. Then what was the crown contest for? At this stage, I think it was but one step in the greater scheme we see unfolding before us. What that scheme is exactly, I haven't a clue. For now, I believe we should keep moving. The path continues. It's quite possible it will take us all the way to Cislodia. Agreed. Let's keep moving. So Xion's thorns are dark astral energy. Rinwell, are you worried about Xion? Of course I am. But I don't know how to talk to her about it. You and me both. Come to think of it, what happened to those four lights that fell from Lenigus along with the Wedge? All four of them scattered in different directions. It's anyone's guess where on Dana they might have landed. I'm not entirely sure, but it seemed like those lights may have all been different elements of astral energy. 
So even though they're using the wedge to siphon off energy from Dana, they're shooting it back down to Dana as well? Why? I don't know. It all happened so suddenly. Hopefully it's not a sign of some new threat we'll have to deal with. But if that red woman has anything to do with the wedge, then what could that light... It's weird, isn't it? Oh? The red woman. Shion and Dohalim said they'd never seen her before Pelegian. Are you saying they're lying to us? No, it's not that I think they're lying, just... There has to be some reason for it, right? Well, one thing the two of them have in common is that they're both Renans. Okay, you two. Put a pin in it for now. I know that we're in the dark about a lot, but for now, let's focus on getting through these mountains. Yeah, of course. to hear. energy was incredible. I gave it everything I had. It sure got cold all of a sudden after we passed the peak. La. Yeah, we're getting close.
Let's refrain from losing. off the bad guys from far off. It is. I mean, aside from adjusting for move. This will be a delicious piece of cake. Uh, Eat this. Burn it. Take this. Here's the evil. Feel. Destruction. Now. Destruction. Astral energy. Say no more. Shut. Well Go done. I'm not done. Tell him hurricane. Easy peasy. Hoodle. Made it to Cislodia. We need to get that bridge down somehow. It looks like we can control it from our side. Let's take a closer look. <sighs> Are you okay, Law? Hmm? Oh, fine. Just thinking. The past is a real downer. That's why I'm focused on what's ahead of me. You? Yeah. I'm going to stay the path. As long as we're all together, I know we'll be all right. Same here. Now let's get moving. As I recall, there's a recipe we've yet to try. Yeah, this is the last ingredient we need. Then let's go ahead and prepare it. Is Alfin. We're not your enemies. Did you say Alfin? 
Slap me silly, it really is you! Forgetting someone? Renwell! Oh, glad to see you're doing okay. What are you guys doing out here? We're patrolling the realm. Never thought I'd bump into you all on my rounds, though. Heck, enough of me, though. What's going on up in the sky? Feels like the world's gonna end. That's what we're trying to figure out ourselves. And as it happens, I've got a big favor to ask. I had an inkling that's why you'd come back, as soon as I saw you in the distance. So you beat all the lords, huh? Damn, you really must be a hero. I just did what I had to. So can you send anybody to help Ganeth Heros? I think we can help out. I'll hit up the other resistance groups and rustle up some support. I doubt they'll have a problem sending people once I mention it's you who's asking. Thanks. If you guys can help out, that'll give us a chance to do something about that wedge out in the ocean. Yeah, I think that's something only you guys can handle. Speaking of which, that thing's out in the middle of the ocean. How do you even plan on reaching it? By boat. We're about to go look for one. No rest for the weary, I see. Hey, what happened to that mask you used to wear? It's a long story. Let's just say I lost it. I sure never expected to run into Bregan. Cislodia's probably in good hands with him. Yeah, now we can focus on finding a ship. A boat, huh? Where are we gonna find one of those? It's not the kind of thing people just leave lying around. Especially not Renan's. For an Imperial power, they never have shown much interest in maritime expansion. Still, I dare say there should be the odd small vessel here and there. All well and good, but that structure is slap bang in the middle of the ocean. A fishing boat won't cut it. Let's just try to find one that won't sink us halfway out, yeah? Not that it needs to be a huge galley like Almadria's or anything. Just as well since we've passed, let's see, literally zero huge galleys. All I know is we have to reach that thing in the ocean. Anything that might work, I say we try it. Thanks to Bregan, it seems like Ganeth Harrow's should be in good hands, at least. I wonder who they'll send to look after things. It'll be someone from one of the other Resistance organizations, no doubt. They could do a whole lot worse than someone like Doc. A knowledge of medicine would go a long way there. Wait. Do you mean the old guy back in Calaglia? Ganeth Haros would be one hell of a trek from there. He'd have to get here first. My brother's old second-in-command, Lagiel, would be a perfect fit, too. Pity she'll probably still have her hands tied up with work in Menencia. Mahogsar will be the same story. They won't have the manpower as it is, let alone enough to start exporting it. Man, everyone's still struggling to get back on their feet, huh? Knowing Bregan, He'll probably take things into his own hands. He seems like the kind of guy who enjoys a challenge. Thinking back on it now, though, it does kind of make you realize just how many people we've gotten to know in each of the places we visited. That's true. And each and every connection we forged is priceless. Anyway, we can trust Bregan to take care of things from here. Come on, let's focus on the task at hand. Freezing. It's always like this in Cislodia. Menencia was most fortunate, I see. I'm getting pretty hungry. Wanna sit down and fix something? Yep, the sooner the better. Gotta break through! You're mine! Start this over! Out of water. Out of storm. Looks like it could be worth something.
That was quite the little adventure we went on. Let's dispose of the trash. Now, wait a second. You wish to learn my secrets, young Nelson? Hold up! Is this as valuable as I think it is? That's a big zoogle. Yeah, I'm not sure we can take it. Not today! All finish you here and now! Summoning wind! 
Improvement. It's good to be back in familiar territory. <laughs> well... <laughs> hmm... Oof. No. Mm-hmm. I thought I was used to fire by now. Like we get to sleep with a roof over our heads.
Have you guys checked your equipment lately? Done. This is sure to give the others some much needed energy. Always good to be back in familiar territory. I wonder if something happened. <sighs> Seriously? My guess. <laughs> What? Hmm. All right. Huh? <sighs> you did it! What is it? If it ain't the blazing sword and his merry crew. Mahavar? I can't believe you're still alive. Course I am! If you landlubbers can make it out of that sinking ship alive, ain't no reason an old sea dog like me wouldn't too. Yeah, but that wave hit hard. I'm glad to see you're okay. Sorry we put you in so much danger back there. I'll water under the bridge at this point. You helped make one of my life's dreams come true. The ship, on the other hand, she took a bit of a beating, though, I'll admit. Really? What happened to it? It looks fine to me on the outside. She's fine now, but she was in rough shape when I made it back here. Engine chamber gave up the ghost. Without a lot of options, I decided to talk to the head honcho of the Dark Wings and see if he could help at all. And wouldn't you know it, crazy fool sent over Renan engineers to help. Can you believe it? Renan? Yep. Said they came from Menencia. They were real professionals. Did what they needed to and didn't give me guff or anything. I was damn near floored. So they did the work themselves. Good on them. Well, they did a bang-up job because she's better than ever now. Speaking of which, I take it she's why you're here? Yes. We need to get out on the ocean and fast. When can we set sail? Give the man a minute to think it over, Alfin. He hasn't even said yes yet. It's all right, little lady. I'm a man of the sea. I'll gladly help. Hop aboard, folks. <laughs> 